Political commentator and columnist Ray Baker says Dr. King's legacy has changed over the years. His legacy has changed because he's a very complicated figure. Like many of us are, we're very nuanced and there's a lot to us. And I think what's happening now, that more Americans are having conversations about the post-1965 Dr. King as opposed to just the 1955 through 65 Dr. King. However, I do think Dr. King would echo President Obama's call for the change in the culture of violence that we see our nation purveying. It's one thing to have a proliferation of guns on the street, and hopefully one argues that policy can reduce the number of guns on the street. But I really imagine that Dr. King would suggest so long as we have this national idea of violence as a solution to some of our problems, then we're going to continue to face some of the challenges we see with the mass shootings throughout the United States. The impact that Dr. King has regarding global impact is that he stands in a long line of people of African descent who have stood against oppression, who have resisted against tyranny, who have stood in the way of injustice against humanity. And we can look at that throughout the world, particularly when we look at persons like Stephen Biko in South Africa or Patrice Lumumba, who was murdered on January 17th himself in the Congo. So these, he's a person of African descent, but we also see that this happens all throughout the world. Dr. King himself talked about how the nations of Asia and the nations of Africa were moving at jet-like speed in efforts to throw off the shackles of colonialization, whereas the United States was moving at a horse and buggy pace in efforts to try to give human rights to its African-American citizens. And I think if we begin to see the intrinsic link between racism and poverty in the United States and how those th two things often and unfortunately go hand in hand, then we can begin to address that and hopefully we'll have better neighborhoods where we see a Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard or Avenue. The United States is going through issue where many unarmed African American women and men have been killed by law enforcement. How would a Dr. King respond to that? Well, in a eulogy for Jimmy Lee Jackson in Alabama, he says, although a state trooper shot Mr. Jackson, it was the continued pervasiveness of law enforcement officers who were promoting lawlessness in the name of law that led to this. So Dr. King was articulate and eloquent about that issue even years before.